real quick, what's happening? Just um, get you uh, um, um, remind you. We had last year the big press release between HL7 Odyssey uh, that we want to uh, harmonize um, our common data models. Actually, I'm saying it again. We want to harmonize the common data models, not just map, harmonize. So that's a big um, uh, goal. And um, But what we decided to do is first uh, map and see how these work together and what the difference is and what works in one, what doesn't work in the other, that kind of thing. And uh, we have a bunch of uh, subgroups that we created, um, um, two with a specific use case, digital quality and oncology, and two with model harmonization and terminology harmonization. And um, interesting, and then we, we we had the idea that the way this is going to go is this is not uh, this is a, an obsolete uh, um, timetable here, um, but we're going to kick it off, and when we have a meeting, bring it, uh, and then we have uh, subgroups. They're going to start meeting, and then what uh, HL7 does are these connector thumbs, where they essentially uh, it's like similar to our study of thumbs, except it's data. Uh, to make data available in the various forms and syntax and um, versions, and then they what they have are these implementation guidelines, and and then you know, kind of like middle of this year we'd be done, and it isn't that simple. Um, we did look, we did, we do have a, a catalog. Lots of people have tried this uh, and have started. And of course, they start with a very specific uh, use case or application in mind. So it was the first, it was good news, but it was also disconcerting, saying, oh, lots of people you have done something, and we kind of like have to bring it all together. Learning number one. Learning number two is it's bi-directional. Okay? You can't just assume that if you convert OMOP into fire, then you can also convert fire into OMA. These are very different uh, beasts. And the reason is because the different um, uh, standards have different requirements on what is implicit and what is explicit in their definition of data. Very different. And so, so we said, all right, we're going to do both. We're going to do two jobs. So suddenly uh, the task doubled. We have an OMOP to fire job and a fire to OMOP job, OMOP job. Okay, so it was the second one, and then we started diving in, and um, and then, for example, just to give you, just without going into any detail, um, something as simple as visit occurrence conversion to fire. There's a fire encounter, encounter in fire. But then you have to actually pick which one. Is it the fire generic or the US core or any of the others um, uh, ver ver versions of this? And they define things differently. OK. Um, so for example, um, the binding here has class one, one, which means there's just one possibility is one too many. So you have different definitions depending which of the different implementation guidelines you use or standards in fire. And you know, in our world, it's mostly this. There are a few more of these, but it's mostly this. So we said, all right, let's see. And turns out they are quite different. They are differently defined, they're defined in different places. So you actually have to choose. So there's no such thing as fire. There are lots of fires. From an OMA perspective, that was um Surprising, because in OMOP we are trying to have one way of the defining, and we have tons of debates on in the forum, in Claire's shop, um, in Mick's shop, of how we all bring it together. In Fire, you know, you declare what you want, and there's a the, the way to declare it is very harmonized, but not actually what you declare. So emergency room visit. So you need to create classes and types, not just one concept like we do. 
And so, you know, it looks like there is something similar. But then you have two different, you have different um, uh, vocabularies, terminologies you can use. It's not defined. There's no such thing as a standard concept. Uh, similar for inpatient visit, it looks kind of good. But uh, outpatient visit, ambulatory in their world, is already different. Um, there's already possible loss of information. Is that important loss? Is it not? So essentially, it's a patient encounter procedure or patient evaluation and management procedure. Um, decision you, somebody needs to make. Where is this going to live? Who's going to make this decision? Which one is right? Which one is wrong? Um, in um, emergency as well, you have ambiguity suddenly. So an emergency and inpatient visit. Remember, we had this combo thing because claims can't distinguish them sometimes. That will freak out the fire world. And you, you have a choice to make. And obviously, we don't have a, a possible way to make these choices. So short, uh, I'm, I'm only showing this to you um, that just to give an, in, in, um, uh, an impression of the journey that we went through as we started diving in and people started working with each other and started uh, trying to talk the same language about things. Um, the subgroups, they did a little better. So there's a data harmonization subgroup. They're the ones who created the first thing they did is to say, all right, what have people done? Um, then they said, Let, let's track those. Then let's create some action and pre create an action tracker and an issue tracker. So really what they did is, is they, 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 they declared this is a almost like a software development project and let's get organized and put all the mechanisms in place to get organized. That's where they are. The terminology subgroups, very different. Very different people, very different language, very different world. Um, going in all sorts of directions. Um, but as I sh already show, showed to you, there is, of course, the lossless data trans uh, transformation, which, which is on the mind of the fire people. Um, there is a priority of which, by which vocabulary you're going to look at, where do we start with, and it should be use case driven. Um, and then the, the terminology group, of course, has to uh, support the other ones. And then there is a Vulcan accelerator, this HL7. There's a, 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 an organization in HL7. Um, Vulcan is to support uh, clinical research. Um, and there is a fire to OMOP mapping program where we hope this can make now systematic and um, accelerate the progress. Um, and um, oncology use case, um, there is uh, M code, which really is a fire standard. These people know pretty well what they're doing and I've started to work on this. Um, and you know, the different avenues, EHR, tumor registries, um, and then these, these E marks from the CDC. Um, and the idea is that it should allow exchange of cancer data for large scale observational study. So it's a fire to all mob really job. And then they worked out how they're going to do it and what are the different, what kind of, uh, um, what kind of um, artifacts they need. Digital quality measurement, final, final one. Uh, it's a very strong use case because what people want to do is they want to use fire source, fire data and apply the, the precision of, um, of the OMOP co uh, core definition and phenotyping um, and to be able to create um, quality metrics. And uh, there's a synchronous, like as it happens, and an asynchronous um, you know, reporting to some authority. Um, uh, uh, um, approach and not, not going into that. Um, and there's a connector son um, at the July Digital Quality Summit where things should be, and they've actually put a program in place as well, um, where uh, such a um, con um, fire to all connection is going to be built and tested against the CQL, which is the data quality way of defining quality metrics are essentially their way to define cohorts, but they of course don't call it cohorts. Um, overall, this is active, so please come. 
it's harder than, than I thought. Maybe other people didn't think that, but I thought, well, that should be fairly straightforward. Same kind of people, we should be able to be able to to bridge these gaps easily. Um, and now we had to take a few rounds. And you know, there are four subgroups. They are active. Please come and help us. Thanks.